do you have the problem with having no external USB ports inside your case? Well, there are products available that can help with this. This is an internal USB hub or internal USB expansion, if you believe the box, made by NZXT. So we're going to open the box and have a look at it. It's got a nice plastic casing for the card and the cable, and the instructions hide at the bottom of the box, so you can't get them. Uh, the instructions just literally say plug this into this. If you're semi-competent with a computer, you know what you're doing, so you don't need that. Throw it away. And we have this. So you can see there's two external USB ports on the bottom, a USB to USB cable, and a power adapter for the card. After removing the product from its packaging, I noticed it has Velcro on the bottom, so you can stick it to the inside of your case. So we're now going to put it inside the actual case. We're going to first wipe the surface down to get rid of the dust, ignoring the stray SATA cable. We're then going to peel the protective plastic from the back, like so, and install it into the case. I'm going to install mine at the bottom of my case, because that's close to the internal USB ports. So you need to connect one side of this internal USB to internal USB connection to the actual card, like so. It does, however, take quite some force to get it onto this card. And the other side of this cable will obviously go to your motherboard. You can now take your external USB devices and plug them here. So now you can have external USB ports inside your case. You notice it also supports more internal USB headers, so it's like an internal USB hub. I'm now plugging the other side into my motherboard, just goes to a normal internal USB header. You'll then need to install the power supply. It uses a 4-pin Molex to a 2-pin adapter, and you need to plug it in like so. It also carries on the Molex connection, so you can plug more things into it, it doesn't use up the connection. And then this tiny port will go onto the USB card. Just like that. Thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe. And which do you think is better, USB or Thunderbolt? Let me know in the comments.